Hi, welcome back. I'm Dr. Anna Marie. You know, when I was a little girl, I had the dream of owning my own horse. That dream started after reading this classic children's book. On this week's tail end feature, how this book and live horses are inspiring children to love to read. The bond between horses and children, it's simply magic. For these fourth graders, it's even more magical. They're seeing the Black Stallion, the main character they've been reading and learning about in the classroom, come to life right in front of their very eyes. For some, the experience brings the fantasy to life. It felt like the awesome appeal of the Black Stallion riding him. The Black Stallion Literacy Project takes a simple approach to motivate children to read. It all comes down to connecting them to the characters of the late author Walter Farley's books through the help of live horses. And the magic of the story takes it from there. The Literacy Project was something my dad didn't get to the chance to see. I know it would have been just wonderful for him to see his creation, his legacy of this, this horse to go on and to reach so many kids. Before his death, author Walter Farley had faith Mark Miller would be able to portray the spirit of the Black Stallion. To this day, the famous fictional horse that touches the soul of every horse lover comes to life at Mark's Equine Base Dinner Theater in Central Florida. The show, Arabian Nights, is the only venue in the world that's allowed to present a live representation of the Black Stallion. Combining this honor and the startling fact that there's a direct correlation between illiteracy and numerous social issues among 44 million Americans, both young and old, Mark and childhood friend Tim Farley created the Black Stallion Literacy Project in 1999. Nothing equates to failure like illiteracy. Nothing. If you're not literate, your chances of having a happy and successful life are not good, are they? No, I don't think so. And if you can read, and if you love books, you're going to do well in school, and you're probably going to do well in life. Right from the start, the Literacy Project is enchanting. As the stars of the books, so Little Black and Big Red, visit the first graders when they receive their very own copy of Little Black a Pony. Once the children finish the second book in the program, the excitement continues. Probably the best part of all of the first grade program is every child gets an opportunity to read to the horse, and that's actually my favorite. And when you see children reading to horses, you realize that they know that horses do not come to reading with a particular point of view. They simply come to listen. And children read the, their absolute best to horses. It's great. When you see these kids, their excitement and their feeling that they have when they meet the characters, the way that they devour those books, the way that they're reading before they get back to the classroom because they're so excited about it, the way when you're in the arena and you see them chanting for the Black Stallion to come out, they're like, they're hooked. The second part of the Literacy Project is designed for fourth graders. Students are given their own copy of the Black Stallion. But the in-depth curriculum goes beyond just reading the book. Teachers are provided a program to expand their students' knowledge from everything from geography to mathematics. Larry Bramblett became active in the Black Stallion Literacy Project after witnessing the success of this proven reading program at the school he was superintendent of in Flagstaff, Arizona. We had one school of uh, predominantly Navajo children and uh, again, these children could read, but indeed they didn't have books in their homes. Uh, their parents were not reading to them. It was the single book that opened the door to all the other books uh, that they read. And when this group started out, they were in the 16th percentile on the Sat Nines. And when they finished, uh, they were up at the 58th percentile. And then there's the finale of the fourth grade program, the long-awaited trip to see the magical black stallion right before their very eyes. When you put 1,100 children into that building and listen to them respond to just absolutely everything um, and look at the joy in their eyes, their voices, it's just sheer magic. I mean, I mean there's, there's just nothing like it. The stallion flashed by the stands going faster with every magnificent stride. There are things in life that are their own reward. There doesn't have to be any other reward than seeing it work. And that's why we do this. There's nobody doing anything for any other reason than it's wonderful to watch the kids. 
but we will have missed the forest for the trees if we have taught children to read and we haven't motivated them to read because it is really reading that is the key to anyone's success and certainly to children and it is a great book like the black stallion that can start a, a child reading and if they need the motivation to do that certainly this is the one project i think to get them started to do it What a great program. And you know, dreams do come true. I now have four horses here on Terra Verde. Well, that's all the time we have left this week. Remember, it's your life. Live it and live it well.